So actually, two of Lebanon's main power uh, stations shut down today, and these are the Ramai and the Zahrani. And the reason, as you've been stating, uh, is the low diesel supply. And more importantly, as a result of the low diesel supply, the drop of energy production from the needed 550 megawatts to 200 megawatts, which is clearly not enough for Electricité du Liban to operate or to conduct or all its operations. The darkness is expected to last for around uh, three days because Lebanon is actually expected to receive uh, fuel from Iraq as part of a deal between the two countries, and the fuel should arrive today. However, this fuel must undergo an examination process which takes around uh, three days, and once the examination process uh, is completed, we will expect an increase in power supply from zero to three hours uh, per day. But for the next three days, there is definitely no electricity whatsoever. And Sally, this is, of course, an additional misery for a population that's long been battling with shortages and with both political and economic crises. This is, uh, this is very true. And uh, this outage uh, today is something the Lebanese have been clearly fearing, but it is something that they've also been largely expecting because they've been experiencing hands on the fuel crisis as a result of the economic crisis for several months now, whether this is in terms of the long hours of electricity cuts or long queues at gas stations. However, while it has definitely been exacerbated by the current fuel crisis, the low electricity supply has always been a problem in Lebanon. And this has led all over the history for the dependence of the Lebanese on private generators. And clearly this dependence has increased over the past few months. But I believe this is more, or, or the Lebanese in general see the dependence of the Lebanese on private generators as more of a problem of the actual outage, actually. Uh, because over the past few months, the increase in the cost of access to power from private generators has increased tremendously. And just to put things in numbers, private generators can give households somewhere around 5 ampere of electricity or more. So to get the minimum, which is 5 ampere, a household must pay around 1 million and 5 500,000 Lebanese pounds, which is almost double the minimum wage in Lebanon, which is 675,000 liras. So this new outage for so many Lebanese means zero electricity, really, because they cannot afford private generators anymore. And aside from the darkness, just to point uh, two other things that could be caused by the by the complete darkness, we also have uh, a decrease, or we are expecting a decrease in water or access to water, because without electricity, water pumps will not operate properly. And it also means a decrease in access to the internet because, again, without electricity, internet cannot operate properly, among so many other problems. Sally Farhat, our correspondent.